My name is Cynthia Harvey. I was a principal dancer with the American Ballet Theatre as well as the Royal Ballet Company in London. My first experience was primarily staging for the ballerina Natalia Makarova in Poland in 2005. She asked me to go there to help her with the, the ballet called La Bayadere. And I worked on that uh, with her and then she asked me to subsequently work at La Scala in Milano. Then in Oslo in Norway they had a production of The Sleeping Beauty. Their ballet master um, left the company and he had choreographed a good section of it so they asked if I could possibly interpret his uh, ideas but with my own choreography. I don't know if I could say that my version is going to be more special than anyone else's. Um, uh, too early to say. The only thing I could say is that I've tried to retain all the lessons that I learned from the people that I was um, coached by in the past. D Dame Ninette de Valois, Sir Frederick Ashton. Um, I had some fantastic people that I was able to watch throughout my career and speak with. Fantastic conductors that I've, I've had conduct for me who've taught me many things as a ballerina as to what to look out for in the music. Um, but for us, I think here in, in Hong Kong, what I've tried to do is create a production that suits the sensibilities of the people. We don't want to make it too long so that the, the families are entertained and the children don't get at all tired of sitting for so many hours because the ballet is very long. Normally it's over three hours. Well, most of the fairy tale ballets, the special things have to do with morals and the stories. Uh, in The Sleeping Beauty, it's a clear one, or I, I believe it should be a clear story, about good over evil. And it appeals to children, and I don't think The Sleeping Beauty is any different in that regard. Well, I have a very uh, fond, fond memories, I think, of watching the evil Carabas and being quite frightened. So I don't want Carabas as a character to be mm, so nasty that you have no sympathy. Carabas is a fairy, like the other fairies that have invi been invited to the palace for the celebration of the christening of Aurora, but Carabas was left out and wasn't invited. So mm, there has to be a little more. So I have a, a affinity with that kind of hurt and in trying to coach the dancers I'd like them to bring out not just the evil part but there's a glamour, uh, a glamorous aspect. I've never actually worked with a company, um, a professional company in Asia uh, and it's been a fantastic experience so far. The dancers are superb and in fact I went to Taipei yesterday to watch a gala and I was telling the producers that in the gala which had international dancers from all over the world that the dancers from here could stand on the stage and proudly display their themselves. Uh, no reason to be ashamed that they're beautiful dancers and I'm quite impressed.